What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of Netflix new documentary series Neymar The Perfect Chaos. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. For those of us who grew up huge fans of the real football, aka soccer, the name Neymar Jr. is no stranger since he's been one of the biggest athletes in the sport for the past decade. My favorite though is still Lionel Messi. Vamos Messi! Woo, woo, woo. But Neymar is definitely up there among the world's top most popular and he's still playing He's still scoring goals. He's still fairly young He's nowhere near retiring which makes this documentary kind of unique because it's not set in some twilight years Looking back on past glories now some people say Neymar is a prima donna that he is a self-absorbed diva. Some people say Neymar always dives and always gets injured. Some people say Neymar doesn't deserve to get his own documentary. Well, that may be so, but love him or hate him, you'll hear it straight from the man himself as Neymar shares his side of the story in this thus far comprehensive introspective docu about his life, career, and journey. Directed by David Charles Rodriguez and executive produced by LeBron James, in Neymar The Perfect Chaos, one of the most famous and highest paid athletes in the history like you've never seen before. Neymar is a hero on the field and a controversial figure off. This three-part docuseries gets up close and personal with soccer star Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. tracks his rise to fame at Santos, his glory days at FC Barcelona, and the roller coaster ride with the Brazilian national team and with Paris Saint-Germain. All while lifting the veil behind Neymar's marketing machine led with a tight grip by his father. This star-studded series features interviews with many soccer legends, including Lionel Messi and David Beckham, as they weigh in on Neymar's place in sports history. You're not the only one wondering why can't they just have made this a one single feature length documentary instead of a docu-series. True, true, but you'll be surprised how much information they packed into these three episodes. I mean, they really don't want to skip or leave out any crucial details. The director and his crew faithfully follows Neymar everywhere he goes, and Neymar would have his little entourage follow him, as he always makes time to to share to the camera what went through his mind during injury or during such and such matches, the triumph, the joy, the tears, all of them. This docu is an unfiltered, unrestricted access to Neymar beyond the tabloids. Two fascinating things that stand out for me are his dad managing his brand and his penchant for partying. When family members are the managers of your estate, well that can be a double-edged sword. We all remember Britney Spears' conservatorship nightmare, but Neymar's dad genuinely seems to have Neymar's best interest at heart. Business-wise, he understands that the career span of a soccer player is 15 years at best. So you only have this limited time window to capitalize on it as much as you can. So it doesn't strike me that his dad has some sort of a hidden sinister intention or that he's driven by greed. But still though, you gotta be careful who you pick to manage your money. Because yes, family members can often be the most trustworthy. But yes, family members can also be leeches. As for the partying, I personally think that the court of public opinion can be petty and unfair about that. Mockery does come from envy, and people like to put athletes on a pedestal as much as they like to tear them down. So what if Neymar wants to have fun? Not everybody can be ever so disciplined as Lionel Messi. Some people have a much more exuberant personality, and it's his money, he can do whatever he wants with it. You would do the same if you were him, anybody saying otherwise is a hypocrite. But that is what makes this docu extra spicy in that it shows the trajectory of public favorability towards Neymar. Sometimes he's loved, sometimes he's hated, sometimes he's mocked and ridiculed. It's a delicate dance between being a footballer and being a celebrity. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. In conclusion, just as the title suggests, you'll hear the word chaos frequently used to describe Neymar. But you know what? Sometimes a healthy dose of chaos is what is needed on and off the field. Otherwise, you won't have an interesting legacy to leave behind, much less an interesting story to fill up a three-parter documentary.